Welcome. Uh, when I started in the hobby about a year ago, I found a lot of great videos, but I didn't really see anything that quite fit my situation, so I thought I'd share my experience. Now, if you're an experienced RC Heli guy, uh, builder, or pilot, this is not for you. Uh, you already know anything I'm going to talk about. My intention here is to just share, share some of the things I learn with other beginners, other newbies. So, uh, let me get started. I built a Taro 450 Pro version 2 uh, with a Roebird G31. Basically, I followed the build videos uh, like CPO and uh, Finless Bob. I didn't do it exactly the same way, uh, like I used 3S batteries, but it's basically the, the videos that I followed. And I'd highly recommend both of those. CPO, thank you. Your videos were just terrific. I learned to hover following instructions from rchelicopterfun.com. The Robert software was not hard to set up and the helicopter is stable. My problem arose from going beyond hover to flying. With my work schedule, I just don't have time to practice and I didn't want to wait. Now, I have used the sim, I have Phoenix, but I, I really have found it to be not very helpful. Uh, I couldn't get the helicopter to act on the sim like it does in real life. I've never played video games and I don't find it, uh, uh, I can't really stay with it for a long time. So the sim for a helicopter just hasn't worked very well for me. I decided there must be a technology solution that could help, that wouldn't break the bank, and that would work with my DX6i. After reviewing all the forums and doing other research, I settled on the icon. I replaced the Robur G31 on my Taro with the Icon, attached Spectrum satellites and set the tail gain in the software to save a channel. Here's my experience using the Icon as a flying aid, much like using the Fly Mentor. You can mount it almost anywhere. Uh, here's where I mount mine. You'll find postings on the forum for how to change parameters to mount it sideways. You need to minimize vibration. The self level is very susceptible to vibration. I used the Milton Mod, mounted it with fuel tube uh, around uh, zip ties, holding it to a zeal gel. Once you set it up and set the level, you must spool up the heli without blades and make sure self level keeps the swash level. If it moves, go into the advanced settings and adjust it so you see no obvious movement when you switch off self level. Go out and test it. Turn on self level with the heli on the ground, spool up the heli and carefully watch it. If it moves in hover, watch carefully for how it moves, bring it back in and tweak the settings. I only had to do that twice. So how does it work? Oh, I'm learning to fly in self level. I can take off, fly and land in self level and it acts a little like a cross between a quad and a heli. It's stable, and I'm learning to fly figure eights and circles, and I don't panic when I get too busy to fly for weeks. I get back to it for, you know, I can go back to it for an hour. I've been turning off self-level for a time as my skills improve, but of course, I switch it back on as I need it. Uh, this footage, uh, I just kept the helicopter in the view of the camera, so you could see it. This whole footage is in uh, self-level. So what's the bottom line? Well, uh, I enjoy flying more, uh, I don't crash, uh, and uh, I think the uh, icon and self-level is a very useful training aid. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks very much.